Hey, this is Michael from Viral Home Based Pursuits. In this video, I'm going to show you how to properly set up your CBD sales funnel so you can get the most amount of revenue and make a deeper connection with your audience and your future customers. I've been using sales funnels for CBD for quite some time in many different business models. Um, this one in particular, I'm going to be showing you how to use it for you know, e-commerce and how to, um, again, maximize the most amount of revenue and make that deeper connection with somebody as opposed to just using a website um, and then using different tactics um, for it. Um, I've been using sales funnels for various different products and services, even before CBD. Um, so I know what I'm doing um, in, in various different ways. And I'm going to show you specifically in a share screen right now how to do this with the funnel I have for you. Um, but before I get started, if you want to go ahead and get this into your account, I'll leave it in the description below. You know, with the click of a button, you can get it imported into your ClickFunnels, uh, ClickFunnels account, which is what I use. Or if you don't have one, go and create a 14-day trial and give it a look. Okay, so I'm gonna show you step-by-step -step how to get this going right now. So this is gonna be four steps. Um, sometimes you'll see two steps, it varies, and I'll tell you why. So the first page would usually be like somebody's gonna buy from you, or it can be an opt-in page, we can add that. Right, we can go and add um, a new step by pressing this button, and it will give you a set of options. Select from the opt-in, and we can add that. Um, we have a uh, one-time offer page, so when somebody buys, you can upsell them. When somebody doesn't want to buy that, they can be downselled to another product. And then at the end, we have an offer wall or an order confirmation page, which is everything they're going to get, what their, per, uh, what their purchase was, they're going to be able to see in there. So the VSL page, I'll kind of just go in through here. Let's go through the edit page. And VSL, that stands for video sales letter plus order form. So you'll see sometimes an order form together on the same page, and then sometimes you'll see it on another page. All right, sometimes you'll be able to click a button on the first page that'll take you to the order form. This one specifically is on the same page, right? It's kind of already set up for you. And there are different ways of doing this. It doesn't always have to be a video. If you don't have that, don't worry. Um, you can, and I'll, I'll kind of show you how to do it. Um, but there are different variations where you don't have to have a video. And then here it is, here it is, uh, free offer won't last long, kind of, you know, call to action with a sense of urgency. Yes, I want my CBD oil now or whatever that product may be. Given the benefits, right, create more of the credibility that comes with the product or create more credibility that comes with buying it from you specifically. And there's just more information there. And, you know, this was at one point passed down from a friend of mine too. And it's been very helpful to see and uh, apply. And in different ways too, I've been able to apply in different uh, business models too. And so here's the order form. So once somebody goes through here, you can even offer them a free guide. It's not needed, but you can just to incentivize and raise more of a value, right? We wanna give value to them too. And then contact shipping. And then all the information out here will be laid out and I'll show you how to put that in there. And there's, a, there's an order bump here. So this increases the average cart value. So if somebody buys that CBD product, then they can you can uh, take them on the order bump, which is, yeah, I'll take this in addition with what I just bought, right? Which is again, gonna raise the average cart value. And then they can press down here, order now. Kind of the footer down there. Again, you can also customize this for your own needs and you likely will, um, and, I mean, you should customize this for your own brand, your own business. So we'll exit out of here. And then we'll go to page two. And so this is going to be the one-time offer. Once somebody buys from you, then they will see this page. And this page will just basically tell your customer, hey, I have another product to show you. 
And what you do in the e-commerce model is you just show somebody more of the same thing and that works extremely well. I remember buying um, a supplement at one point because I was hurting, I was in pain and I bought it from them. And, you know, I was also trying to run my own business and I noticed how they would, they were going to sell me, they sold me the first bottle. Sometimes it was probably free plus shipping or whatever that cost was. And then, then in the next page, it was like three more bottles. And then in the, after the page after that was six more bottles. So you can always offer more of the same thing. Um, if that's what your concern is, or if you've been thinking about that. Okay. So there's more of that. You can probably offer them more video if you wish. Um, that doesn't need to be, but the reason I say video um, is better is because it converts. Right. People would like making the connection also with a person to see, okay, who's behind the brand or who's, who, who am I buying from sometimes too. They want to see that. It's not always necessary, but it will increase your conversions. I know that for a fact. Um, and they, they can add this. All right. We're going to customize this again. You're going to do it for your own needs. And then they buy that. Let's say they buy that then you can also add another one-time offer. It's not here, but you can simply go here to add new steps and then name the funnel. I have a lot of funnels at the moment, so I can't really add too much, too, uh, too much more. But what you wanna do is you wanna go add a step and then it's gonna let you select from another one-time offer. It'll kind of say one-time offer and then add another one-time offer on top of it. And then you can sell more of the same products and then downsell, right? People don't purchase. And then here's the wait, special one-time only offer. Somebody didn't want to purchase from you, then they'll go to the downsell page, which gives you another shot to, you know, earn, right? Because a funnel is a, is a generate, is a revenue generating stream. It's not the business. It's what's going to help you generate more money. So if you have a Shopify store, a WooCommerce, right? Whatever it is that you have attached, you can actually make more with a sales funnel. And you're probably asking, well, how do I get people to see my store? And I'll get to that here in just a second. We'll go into the offer wall. This is post purchase. So this is where they will be able to uh, receive information. Look, your order is complete. Products will be here. And these products here will be added, um, generated. And I'll show you how that helps, how that works in just a second. And then there's more special offers. So you can add more on the bottom, just in case they wanna look around and press elsewhere. Okay, so how we go ahead and add the products, the pricing on it, how do we deliver for them, right? It's what, what you're probably asking. So we'll go to the order form. Any order form page will have up here, as you can see it changes, it will have a product selection and automation. Um, so we can go to products. And then I've already added some because I did an example. I might, I think I made another video on this that was quite similar. Um, but what we do here is we would add a new product, but because I haven't made, I'll kind of just go through this for the, for the time. And then I can kind of help you out with this in time. So we're going to go into edit. So we'd go ahead and do a payment option. If it's Stripe, anything else, go ahead and go ahead and add a payment integration, um, subscription payment plan or one-time product one time. If so. Um, and then we can go to product details and then name the product, right? So we know which one they purchase. What is the price of that product? Cause that's going to show on the pricing amount. Remember that order form, it's going to actually go from zero to the amount that it actually is. And then um, we don't have to do the price display override. That's not needed, but we can put that there. Um, the shipping or origin address, Kind of go through this product description, the bump order, the bump product. If um, 
So it's going to say, should this product be the bump on the order page if present? And we can select, yes, let's say we put the product bump, like I showed you the extra order bump. And if somebody buys that, then they will go ahead and get a specific email or they will get that attached to the product that they had originally bought, right? They bought the product and then they put the order bump in there. And if they purchase the two, you can send them a different email than as opposed to somebody who, um, who didn't get the uh, order bump, right? So if we wanted to include the order bump, we could, we can add that onto there and we can continue moving forward. And also, if they didn't get the order bump included, we can create a whole separate product for that. So I'll show you that in a bit. So product variations, would you like to create a variation of the product? You could, it's not needed. Save in next, right? We want to click save in next. I'm doing this kind of, because I've kind of already laid it out. And then we can enable a fulfillment email. Right, if we want to send them a custom email, thanks for your purchase, thank you for this, you may access it on this. If you have a custom thank you page you want to send them to, you can um, tell them to access this link where your purchases can be, uh, where, you, where you can access that thank you page to get the information for what they just ordered. Um, we can go down here. If you, if you select none and provide the product slash thank you page, which is this part. Uh, merch tag in the email contents. We will replace that URL with your own, with your order confirmation page URL. Um, I like having this, I like having the email in place. Um, that way they get to also see what they have purchased. Um, it's not always needed. We can kind of toggle that off if we want and we can just send them to a custom page we have here. You have set up with ClickFunnels. Um, this again is also, if you have a custom thank you page you want to send them to, then you can do that. But if you have a page made within ClickFunnels or if it's a membership page, right? If it's a course or something we wanna send them to so they can get access to maybe certain material, but because it's a physical product, that's really not needed all the time. So follow-up actions. All right, we do save and next. This is an amazing feature too with um, ClickFunnels too. They allow you to when somebody purchases, if you have a third-party email autoresponder, you can use that. Although you can also follow up with um, ClickFunnels internal. So we can also use the ClickFunnels internal. I'm just reading this here. What I like doing here is I like adding a third party integration. So I have Aweber, which is what I use, and that's what I can use for this. Um, I know ClickFunnels has made some changes kind of like to the whole email stuff, but um, you can go ahead and get into it here with ClickFunnels as well. Um, and then also use a third party autoresponder. Can I use Aweber for this? And then uh, once you're done here, you can click save and next. All right, we'll select the list from that email. So that, all, so that at the same time, when they purchase the product, you can send them an email like, hey, thanks for your purchase, that it's on your way to your, it'll be shipped out to you soon. Or, and then we can follow up again the next day, right? Once you have that set up a sequence, so you can um, continue connecting with the person and send them back to buy more products. Um, that's why email is very important. Um, you're gonna notice email within sales funnels, outside of sales funnels, and in different aspects. Right, you give somebody something for free of high value, maybe they opt in, maybe you give them a free CBD guide. Um, now you can follow up with them, send them your products, your content, and so much more shipping. Is this a physical product? Okay, we can do that, select there. You can integrate it to your Shopify store or add a shipping integration. Okay, and then we'll go over to summary after we press save and next. And then you'll have your information here on display, right? Some of this stuff wasn't filled out because for the time being too. And then what we can also do is remember how I showed you at the beginning, how you can turn on the order bump. Okay. What if somebody didn't purchase or, or what if somebody didn't purchase that order bump? 
We can send them a custom email that they didn't get that order bump as well, or we can create a new product. And then underneath product details, I think it is. So I'll select this. This one I gotta do save it next because it's a new one that I'm making. So if this one, okay, let's say let's say we had it toggled off, right? We can create a separate one just for people who purchased the original product that they were uh, that you wanted them to, to buy, and then we go and create that whole one by itself. And then let's say they bought the order bump. You know, you're including the order bump. Um, we can do a separate one for the bump product selected. This can be toggled on and do it that way. That's another way to do it, okay? So that's pretty much it. I mean, I can help you out with this part. I know it can sound a little bit tricky from the beginning, especially if you're a beginner with this, but in time, you'll get it right away. I know it takes me sometimes to look at it as well for different products and services, but it's all there. Um, you know, you can change the domain path, little things like that. Let's go back to the overview, go through automation. And then we can also add a new action to people who like, let's say you had a lead magnet you gave away people who opted in, but didn't buy a product. You can add a segmentation to that, um, and say, okay, these are all the people who uh, opted in, but they never purchased the product. For people who purchased the product, but they didn't purchase the upsell or the order bump, and then we can segment it that way. That, that, that's a little bit more of an advanced feature and something that I can help you out with in time. But um, that's pretty much it here. Um, as you can see, ClickFunnels gives you a lot of flexibility for this. Um, and if you have any questions on how to do any of this from the whole funnel itself, getting it set up, to the order form, to filling out the product details, because I can do that um, with more time on my hands, I will go ahead and help you with that. Um, to, you know, anything else with CBD related, I'll leave more videos down below in the description so you can see things like how to use Facebook ads, Google, um, you know, in different ways as well with CBD. But check out this funnel. I'll leave a link down below in the description. And if you want a free funnel course, I'll leave that down there below. Go ahead and grab that for free while you can. And that will be everything from me from uh, for today. So if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, do leave me a comment and I'll get back to you.